Chinese top legislator Zhang Dejiang has made clear that there is no set thing as the inherent power of Hong Kong. The power of the Hong Kong government is delegated by the central government, not separate from it. Under no circumstances should its high degree of autonomy be used as a tool to challenge the power of Beijing. A drafter of Hong Kong's basic law, Tam Niu Chang, says Zhang's remarks are in accordance with the law's key principles. Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy is given by Beijing, which means it can also be revoked, although the chance is very small. In the future, Beijing is ready to delegate more power to Hong Kong if conditions are right. In 2014, Occupy Central protesters blocked Hong Kong traffic for months, demanding Beijing reduce its alleged interference in the region's politics, particularly in chief executive elections. The city also witnessed a rise in pro-independent movements. Outgoing Hong Kong Chief Executive Liang Chenying says Beijing's rightful exercise of sovereignty over Hong Kong under the Basic Law should not be regarded as interference. Hong Kong is part of China, so its degree of autonomy can only be compared with other regional governments, not sovereign states. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy is delegated by the central government, which means Beijing still holds the power to appoint a chief executive. Top legislator Zhang Dejiang also says that according to the Basic Law, there is no separation of powers in Hong Kong between the executive, judicial, and legislative branches. It is an executive-led system with the chief executive at its core. The chief executive is accountable to both the central government and Hong Kong. Since its return in 1997, Hong Kong has enjoyed a considerable amount of autonomy under the Basic Law. Its judicial system is responsible for interpreting laws, and legislative council holds independent elections for its members. The region also has the power to issue its own currency. Ahead of the 20th anniversary of Hong Kong's return, legislators say that it is necessary to refute some misperceptions of the Basic Law and guarantee the implementation will not be distorted for decades to come. Han Peng, CDTN, Beijing.